Originally, I'm a mathematician. I'm interested in how birds move together, how fish, fish schools move together, and how we can use mathematical models to explain that. And then I got interested, well, can I apply this to humans? And the ideal sport for this is soccer, because there you have players moving around together, you can describe how they interact with each other, and you can build up mathematical rules to describe those interactions. Also, if anybody has ever seen four-year-olds play soccer, it looks exactly like a swarm of mosquitoes, right. just all following just follow the ball. The ball. All right, so ball. tell yeah. us how it works. Well, I mean, you have a couple charts yeah, you brought I have, I have some charts to show, uh, give you an idea of how it works. Okay. So this is Paul Pogba, and he plays for France. Right. And what you can get an idea of here is the important passes that he's made. So each of these dots is the origin of the pass, and the end point is where he's made the passes to. And we can use an algorithm, we use machine learning to val uh, validate and find out what are the important passes. And do you look at his defense then too? Yeah, we have actually a plot here. The next one here is actually of his defense. This is where, if we go over to the next one, this is where he's getting the ball back. And he's been one of them. He hasn't scored a goal for France in this tournament, but he's actually been one of their most important key players. Now, did you do this for all the players? We do this automatically for all the players. So we've built a sort Both of... sides. We've built a bot, which is kind of my football knowledge, put into a bot, which then evaluates everything that happens How did you do up to this point in the tournament? Oh, right. So you mean betting-wise? Yes, yeah. exactly. of course. Everyone's right. interested like, in like, the money. Like, like, <laughs> on Croatia and UK, did you pick the winner? Right. So the thing with Croatia UK, it was a 50-50 match. And that means oh. if it's a 50-50 match, you should actually back the team which has the better odds. And so I back Croatia for that match All right. against well, my... How much, how much money did you make? I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to say France, France is clearly the heavy favorite in this uh, match coming up. Yes, again... And look at the sports book odds here. Yeah, okay. so what you have here is the implied probability win for the sports book's odds. So the odds say here that there's a 69% chance of France winning, 35% for Croatia. But I would say that Croatia just have, they may be on a 40%. So I would say France are definitely favorites to win this match. But maybe if you want to place a bet, Croatia the team to go for. Hey, that's not bad advice. Should the sports books be hiring you or reading your book? You have a book about uh, soccer-matics, too. I mean, they, they exactly. the book should so, be. So in the book, I made a model for the Premier League. And I've been running that model for the past three years. And I've actually made a 2,000% profit on that model. Mm -hmm. It's quite an amazing outcome. The only <laughs> problem is the model made the money, but I didn't place all the bets that uh, they recommended. Okay. So. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.